Hi, Michael Rourke, the Garden Guy here. Forever and ever, let's say that the rose societies and people that have been growing hybrid teas, floribundas, grandifloras, things of this nature, or roses of that nature, basically, it, it, the old timers, they used to cut roses down this time of year to about six inches and then put mulch over the crown and then possibly protect them from the winds, at least the crown even more so by putting over, well, these styrofoam cones. What this is basically doing is it's preventing the wind from going right through the knot or the crown of the plant. The crown is actually at ground level where the branches start to come up. And that crown is the nerve center of the plant. When moisture is evaporated from that, you're not going to get anything to grow back the following season. So that's why they use this or even the collars. Now the collars, they put mulch. They put this all around the crown itself and then they put mulch over it to pretend or at least to protect it from the elements such as the wind. All the roses can freeze. It's the wind that evaporates the moisture in there that you got to worry about. Now nowadays, the new, new thought is all you got to do is give them a haircut, leave them alone, maybe put some mulch around the knot and then leave it alone. Alone. Cut out the dead cane the following season and see what happens. For Fox Toledo, I'm Michael Rourke, the Garden Guy. Don't forget to watch me here every Wednesday right here on Fox Toledo.